Professor Pierre Dolay of the Southern Macab University of Technology, also known as SMUT. And today we are going to study zombies. Zombies are all around us. Yes, you see them in the workplace, you see them in the stores, you see them on boards of review, especially boards of review of academic peers. Can we do this again? So we can cut that, yes. Okay, thank you. As I said, you find zombies everywhere. And that is one of the strange things we are going to study here. Because many people mistake other beings for zombies. Let me start with the first idea of zombie dump. I'm blocking the camera. Zombies can be recognized by their profile. They will stand, as you can tell, with arms out like so. This is a zombie. What distinguishes a zombie from a normal human being? Well, obviously, normal human beings put their arms down. Zombies, again, arms up. Now we will show some practical examples of how zombies are mistaken, or more precisely, how other beings are mistaken for zombies. This will be field research. We will be doing this often in this lesson course. We can go now. Hello. Again, we're out in the field. And, as you all recall, zombies are the living dead. And yet, as you will see from this field example, not all those who appear to be living dead are, in fact, zombies. This is Lucy. She appears to be a zombie. You listen to her heart? It is cold. It is almost dead. But she is not a zombie. No. Lucy is an example of Frigiditus vulviticus. Yes, similar to zombie, but not. What is Frigiditus vulviticus? Well, that is a woman who I have known for years. has all of the attributes of a zombie, and yet is not. We will learn more about Lucy and about zombies in our next lesson. But for now, remember, cold heart, cold woman, not zombie. <laughs>